This is BBC Radio 3, 90 to 93 FM on digital radio and online. It's a quarter past 11 and that means it's time for Late Junction with Robert Sandal. Hello, we have a small preoccupation with improv lurking behind tonight's show, which is led by David Sylvian and various artists who record for his excellent Samadhi Sound label. But we begin with one of New York's finest funk jam bands, Modeski, Martin and Wood, and a track from their 2009 album Radio Larians, in which they take a view of piano music of New Orleans. A fiercely cubist view, I would say. This is Professor Nohair. <laughs> Thank you. 
Not quite how they used to do it in New Orleans, but what a fantastic track that is. Modeski, Martin and Wood and Professor No Hair from their album Radio Larians. Now, it was good to see Sweet Billy Pilgrim lined up among the nominees for the 2009 Mercury Prize, and it was a great credit, too, to their label, David Sylvian's Samadhi Sound, who've released a range of quality music over the past few years, some of which I'll be playing on tonight's show. Sweet Billy Pilgrim are probably about as commercial as Samadhi Sound ever gets, but their lyrical and vocal wit are a rare treat. From the album Twice Born Man, this is Joymaker Machinery.
There you heard Portico Quartet with Line, featuring the hang, a steel drum that the band particularly favours. That's from Portico's Real World EP of the same name, which I'm sure is a trailer for their new album. And as a fan of this highly modern British jazz band, Bring It On Say I. Here's another very idiosyncratic British talent operating in a pop singer-songwriter vein this time, with great emotional integrity and musical finesse. Corin Bailey Ray is often summarised as a sort of 21st century Joan Armour trading, but that sells her short, I think. There's a subtlety, particularly to her second album, The Sea, which isn't like anybody else. This is the title track. I never knew you were standing on the shore and says everything. Explains everything And then from then on It couldn't be just like before It says everything Changes everything So don't you stand there wishing your life would fade
Corinne Bailey Ray and the title track from her recent album, The Sea. Now, we're calling this section of the programme Improv Corner, though the three tracks involved sound quite distinct. Begins with a strongly vocal piece from David Sylvian's most recent album, Manaphon, and that's Snow White in Appalachia. And we follow that with two instrumental freakouts by Toshimaru Nakamura and Akira Rabelais. Sylvian does love his radical soundscapers, and whatever else they may be, this pair certainly aren't ambient clones. Off we go. Half life She moves in a half life Imperfect From a place on the stairs Or sat in the back seat Sometimes you're only a passenger In the time of your life And the snow on the mattress Blown in from the doorway It would take back mules and provisions To get out alive There were concerts and car crashes there were kids she'd attended And repeat indiscretions For which it once made amends And there's ice on the windshield And the wipers are wasted And the metal is flying Between her and her friends Abandon them there in the hills of Appalachia. She threw off the sandbags to lighten the load. Uh, 
As soon as the sun rose The keys were in the ignition Following the tire tracks Of the truck sanding the road There had to be drugs Running through the girl's body There had to be drugs And they too had a name And the adrenaline rush Had left her exhausted When under the blue sky Nothing need be explained Then there is no makeup Just an exhaustible indifference And there's comfort in that So you feel unafraid And the radio for silent But for short bursts of static And she sleeps in a house That once too had a name
The uh, uncompromising, improvising guitar there of Akira Rabelais from his album Caduceus. And I'm going to be playing you another track from that later on. Now to a much more benign version of what I suppose should still be loosely defined as jazz. This is the light and airy pianistic kind of jazz we associate with Scandinavia and the Rona Gramophone label. This is Norway's Espen Eriksson Trio and they're the authors of this rather attractive little floater called In the Woods.
Well, last week I played you a track by the British folk band Lau, and somehow that didn't feel quite enough, so there was another from their mind-blowing EP Evergreen. That was Lau featuring uh, the vocalist Karen Polwert and a track called Lord Yester. Now, it's taken me a while to get there, four and a half late junctions to be precise, but I've made it. We're about to feature some dubstep. And as I'm sure most of you know, this is the uh, slinky electronic dance music you can listen to without dancing. A rather engaging mix of dub rhythmic traces, fugitive shreds of electronic melody and some nice fat vinyl samples. I suppose the surprise with dubstep is how well it's lasted. It's been with us for five years now, having started in the South London clubs, and it's still going strong, as you will hear from these couple of tracks from one of dubstep's leading artists, Scuba.
Well, there were two tracks there from Scuba's uh, recent album, Triangulation. We played you the intro, strangely beatless, but very atmospheric, and we followed that with Heavy Machinery, which was all kinds of interesting music concrete ideas floating around. My producer's pretty sure he could hear the sound of a ping-pong ball being recorded. Anyway, that's uh, from the Scuba album, Triangulation, warmly recommended. Scuba's probably the most recognisable name in British dubstep since Burial, and I don't suppose you'll find that on his birth certificate either. Now, Wild Beasts are a different kind of independent British music producer. They're a band from Kendall in the Lake District, signed to the highly influential Domino label. And with the release of their second album, Two Dancers, in 2009, they're widely regarded as contenders for the crown previously awarded to other Domino rock acts such as Franz Ferdinand and the Arctic Monkeys. From that second album, Two Dancers, here's a track with the intriguing title, We Still Got the Taste Dancing on Our Tongue.
Cool and funky Mancunian jazz there from an album I found called Real Book Northwest, a compilation of recordings from, yes, the northwest of England, which I liked for the same reason I liked the Espen Eriksson trio who I played you earlier. It has a certain concise, almost pop focus to it. So my congratulations to Messrs Schofield, Walker, Chisnell, Berry and Walsh, the authors of Blue Chili. Now, remember that Finnish electronic improv guy from last week's programme who calls himself Vadislav Delay? His real name's actually Sasu Repati. He's the one with the fidgety way of shifting his sound parameters as he goes. Well, he's back. <laughs> Thank you. 
you heard another of the fearlessly experimental rock bands gathered on Lawrence Bell's excellent Domino label. That was Animal Collective, and they're from Baltimore originally, although that track shows them hankering for the West Coast in a certain sense. What Would I Want includes samples from Unbroken Chain by the Grateful Dead. More borderline melodic jazz now from Fringe Magnetic and Eyeball. And I follow that with another track by Akira Rabelais. You could say that these two are the yin and yang of tonight's programme, jazz-wise. Anyway, join me, Robert Sandal, again tomorrow for a more sedate show featuring some modern opera and some music with more, shall we say, classical composure. Until then, good night.
Welcome to BBC Radio 3 Through the Night with me, Jonathan Swain. Well, a recent concert from Greece for this hour or so tonight.